Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is the kind of sequence they have the common difference. Let's see some questions in AMC 10. The first question comes from 2021 10A, problem 4. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's take a look. The question is, how far in inches does it travel? So it travel first, second, five, second, second is seven inches more than during the previous one second. So it's plus seven become 12, and the next become 19. So it's just a very typical arithmetic sequence until 30 seconds. So we can first get the last one, the last number. So it's five plus seven times 29, right? Because from the first to the last, although there are 30 terms, but there are only 29 difference. So this will give us uh, 203 plus five, 208. And now we can calculate the sum. The sum, we can use a method of Gauss that is first plus the last times in total 30 numbers divided by 2. So let's do 2, 13 times 15. So we should do some multiplication. It's 3, 1, 95. Okay. Let's see the next one. This is 2020 10A problem 8. Let's pause the video and think about it. So this one is pure calculating. Um, so we should find a good method to calculate this. You will realize if it's 1 until 200, if everything is plus, then we just do 1 plus 200 times 200 divided by 2. But those 4, 8, like the next one, the six, next one is 12 and 16, they are all minors. So we have to, so we already think them as plus, which means for 4, we should minus 2 times 4 plus 8 plus 12 until 200. Two times. So now let's finish the calculating. This is 201. This is 100. So 0, 0. Minus 2 times. The sum of these is 4 plus 200. This is another arithmetic sequence. First plus last times total number is 50 divided by 2. So 2 and 2 canceled. This is 204 times 50, which will be 10. Two zero zero, okay, and then do the minors. We will get nine nine zero zero. This will be our answer. So this one you can change it into two arithmetic sequence. This is a key step. Okay, let's see the next one. This is two thousand eighteen ten B problem eight. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's first find the pattern of this question. So let's make a table. So step, if it's one step, we're gonna have, so let's say this is step, and this is number of two picks. So one step, we need four, and two step, we need an extra one, two, three, four, five, six. So four plus six, this is 10. And the next, for three step, we're going to have extra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 plus 8 is 18. This is how we get 18. So the question is, how many steps we need to get 180? So here actually is 4 plus 6 plus 8. So you can imagine the next going to be plus 10, plus 12, plus until plus what number will give us 180. So at this level, we can, at this part A questions, we can just use try and error. So for example, let's say it's plus
plus until 20. How about that? So we're going to do 4 plus 20 times from 4 to 20, there are 20 minus 4. Divide by 2 plus 1, which is 9 numbers. So times 9 divided by 2, which will give us, this is 12, 108. So 20 is 108. Then the next going to be 22, 24, 26. Those are already 72. That's how we get 180, which means the number here is 26. And from 26 to 4, it's 26 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So in total, there are 12 numbers, which means it's 12 steps. Okay, so you can see you should be familiar with arithmetic sequence formulas like for example, how to calculate how many numbers and how to calculate the sum. So basically, there are just these two formulas. Okay, let's see the next one. It's 2019 10A problem 5. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here the question is, what's the greatest number? of consecutive integers whose sum is 45. It's consecutive integers. It didn't say positive or negative. So the number could be negative. So the easiest way we know 45 numbers should work because 45 divided by 45 is 1. It's like the middle number is 1. Then it's going to be 0, 2, and the negative 1, 3, right? So 45 divided by 45, 1 is the middle number. And then there are 22 this way and the 22 this way. So 45 seems like a good choice, but can it be more? Well, actually, 90 can be more because when there are 90 numbers, you have two middle numbers. So it can be, so the two middle number adding together is 1, so it can be 0 and 1. Then the other two go in different way. So negative one and a two, and a negative two and a three, like that. So 45 on this side and 45 on the other side. This also work. So 90 is actually the greatest number we can have here. This is a tricky question. Okay, let's see the last one. This one is a little bit harder. You can see it's 2020 10b problem 13, but we can still use the basic idea of arithmetic sequence to solve it. Let's pause the video and read the question. Okay, let's think about this question. So here, Andy at first is at the origin. Let's say the origin, this is the origin. And Andy first move one unit and then the positive x direction facing east. So Andy first move one and then turn 90 degree left going north and the two unit up and then turn 90 degree left. So then move three and then going this way turn 90 so it's going four and then going 5, and going 6. So actually, we can consider horizontal and the vertical differently. So horizontally, it starts with negative 20, and the first plus 1, then minus 3. If we consider going right as positive and going left as negative, so plus 5, minus 7, plus 9, minus 11, until um, until when will he stop? Make the 2020s left turn. So until he finishes the 2020s left turn. So we're gonna stop here. Oh, 2020s left turn. So 2020 will be um, 2020 is a multiple of four, which means he's going down 2020. So the previous step is 2019 going left. So we're going to actually 
plus 2017 minus 2019. So this calculation we can do is negative 20 plus, so this is actually negative 2, another negative 2, another negative 2. How many negative 2 can we have? It's like, first we need to calculate how many numbers from 1 to 2019. It's uh, 2020 divided by 2. 2000, it's 1010 numbers. 1000, 1010 number you can divide by 2. It's 505. So every 505 will be a negative 2. So it's actually negative 2 times 505. This is the sum of all those numbers. Negative 20 plus this. So this is negative 20 minus 1010. This is negative 1030. This is horizontally. Vertically, same idea. We start with 20. And it's gonna be plus two minus four plus six minus eight until we do plus 2018 minus 2020. So same idea, it's gonna be negative two, negative two. How many negative two are there? Same, it's 505. So 505 times negative two, still negative 1010 plus the initial 20. It's gonna be negative 990. So the answer for this point is horizontally negative 11030. Vertically it's negative 9910. So the answer is B. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next lecture.